So I live in D.C., but I had to come home to Denver, New Jersey to watch the Eagles win their first Super Bowl. Of course, I had faith. This was actually taken at church where it was like an Eagles church service that morning. Me and my dad and my whole family watched the game together. I put out a tweet beforehand of how no one believed in us, but we just believed the whole time. So we watched the Super Bowl, which of course Getting I couldn't gear. capture. But this was the after effects. The stores actually opened up. The mall opened up the model at midnight so everyone can come get their gear. And that turned into a party as well. Having worked retail, I was super excited to see how well stocked everything was. But the next day, I still wanted the locker room gear. There was this hat that I wanted, so we hit the streets of Philadelphia to look for it the next day. I've been to four stores trying to get these locker room hats. After being at the store at midnight last night, hey sis, <laughs> mobbing the streets of Philly for a locker room hat. So I spent the next few days just kind of celebrating. I had to go back to DC, of course, to work. And the parade was actually not scheduled till Thursday. So this is when I first got back in town I left my radio show and hit the road straight on Thursday morning. It's about two o'clock in the morning and I just parked. I'm in Philadelphia officially. I'm excited for the day, but I'm really excited to get to bed. Like I just finished my show in DC and drove straight to Philly. So it's gonna be a long one. Look at this beautiful view from our hotel. It's like half hood and then half really cute skyline. Oh, and this is the bed me and Caitlin will share. It's tiny little, but it's okay. No, it's. I'll be the big After spoon. a long drive, we planned everything that we're going to do in the morning. Just about four hours later of sleep, I ended up doing a radio interview, called into the radio station in D.C. about what was going down in Philadelphia. We put our hand warmers together, um, and it was time to hit the road. The parade didn't start till 11 a.m., but we were out there way before then. These people at the hotel, everyone there was just going to the parade. Currently watching the Super Bowl game for the third time. It makes it third down and three. I love what Nick Foles is doing. And Brady People say what they want the about the fans when we show our passion. I wonder if maybe that had a little something to do with why he didn't want that. Gear for sale everywhere. And it was just honestly a great time. Everyone was freezing cold. Really couldn't use the bathroom because the lines were so long. Like two million people, nine bathrooms. I don't think you can hold them out. Here we go. This could decide the game. Fourth and goal. And they're going to snap it. And it's Trey. A figure. They go to the very, very, very back of the playbook for the touchdown. Trey Burton. The Eagles win the Super Bowl for the third time. They put on some music. Is this really happening? Ah! <laughs> and before we knew it, it was time to get started. You can tell the city has been waiting for this moment our entire lives. Like, it was amazing. The pre-parade had started. We were towards the end of the parade route. And we ran into boxing legend Bernard Hopkins. My phone does get shaky because I put my phone down and dab him up and give him a hug. But he was just running through the crowd. It was pretty amazing. Everyone who's ever wanted to go there. We had Philly, Philly, Dilly, Dilly. It was great. And of course, you know, some people climbed on the light poles. And yeah, that happened. There's that. <laughs> but what can you expect? Um, there were definitely security and cops around, but it was okay. Uh, they started playing the interviews on the screens. No one was really rowdy at this point. Just excited. There was plenty of Meek Mill being played, of course. Philly rapper, Philly native, free Meek, man. Free Meek. I wish I could describe the energy at this point. 
when we finally started seeing people come down. To see the players and the organization that you've been cheering for relentlessly this entire season right in front of you, celebrating everything was just, ah, whew. This was my attempt. <laughs> Being that close to the trophy was worth all the hustle and bustle it took me to get to this parade. The players were high dick from the fan type. The entire parade route. Hands down, best moments of my life right here. Bud Light kept their uh, part of the deal up, giving away free beers. They were throwing them to the players. They were drinking them, throwing them back into the crowd. Definitely got beer on me, but it was totally okay. <laughs> I was trying to record as much as possible, but was still celebrating, still so excited that my phone actually was knocked out of my hand, flew out, I thought it was all over, I was never going to see my phone again, and there it's happening. But this guy, thank goodness for him, picked it up, and like I said, Philly fans were family, handed my phone right back to me, and I could keep it pushing, I was definitely excited about that one. watching all this. Once most of the players were getting um, to the art museum, still celebrating, still celebrating is when they were gonna have all of the uh, speeches and things that you saw on TV. I didn't capture most of that. But it was amazing. Jason Kelsey had the best speech. So. The excitement was crazy. Like, this is the type of high that you get excited for the next season, for the whole year that you're going to be world champs, for just Eagles history in general. Like, I'm still pumped off of this. People ask me how my day is. I'm excited because my team is world champs for the first time in history, and I was right there. Like, I can't even explain. Wild man. I'm hungry. Like, do you hear anything else besides? 
A mess? No, just a mess. It's bad. It's only been a lot. Without using the bathroom for 12 hours because it was that long of a wait and I didn't want to miss anything. The only car I jumped on was my own. Unfortunately, right after the parade, I had to get myself right back to DC. I was in a lot of traffic. All these people were walking, but it was still worth every second. I kept a piece of confetti. I'm going to give it to my kids. And just seeing that Lombardi. There it is. Oh Of course, as soon as I made it back, I knocked all the way out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's Britt, and I'm out. And go Eagles!